from amazing animals, but they are wild and can be dangerous. There are lots of bears in Alaska. Because we work and play where bears also live, it's important to know how to avoid bears and what to do if you see one. Hi, I'm McKenna. And I'm Josh. We both go to Mirror Lake Middle School in Chudiak, Alaska. Where we live, we sometimes see black and brown bears, and we bet you do too. We're going to learn about bears today and how to be safe around them. Okay, let's get started. nervous when I think about bears. I'm not sure I really like know what to do if I saw one. Yeah, I used to feel like that too, but the more I learn about bear safety, the more comfortable I am being outside. And plus, it is so cool to be outside in Alaska. <laughs> not that kind of cool. I mean cool as in fun. Just imagine what all the great Alaska adventures are like. Yeah, those kids are having a lot of fun. Alaskans have lots of outdoor adventures. But to be safe, we all need to know basic bear safety. With us today is Mr. Tom Griffin. He works with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. He works around bears and teaches people what they need to know about bear safety. So what are the most important things to know, Mr. Tom? Bears are fascinating and there's lots to learn. But today we're going to focus on the most basic rules that can really help keep you safe. Always make noise! That's right, always make noise and don't surprise a bear. Bears sometimes act aggressively if they've been surprised. Make noise, especially when you can't see well, so bears know you're coming and can stay away. I can see how that could really help. What else could we do? Travel in groups! There's safety in numbers in bear country. It's best to hike or bike with a buddy. If a bear sees a lot of people together, it will probably move away quickly. And always stay with your group. Try not to fall behind. What else is important? Never run from a bear! Bears are different from moose. If a moose starts to chase you, you should run. But you should never run from bears. Do you know why? Bears chase and catch things that run from them. So if you run, it makes them want to chase you. And bears run a lot faster than people. That's right. You should never run from a bear. We'll talk more later about what you should do if you see a bear. But remember, act calm and don't run. Okay, what else? Keep a clean yard and camp! Don't ever leave out food or other things like garbage or even pet food that it could attract bears to your home or camp. We'll talk more about that later too. Great, so now we know the basic do's and don'ts of staying safe in bear country. Now let's learn some more about bears. Hey Gina, before we learn more about bears, do you want to hear a bear joke? Sure. How do you start a teddy bear race? How? Teddy, set, go. <laughs> That's silly. Instead of ready, set, go, teddy, set, go. Seriously though, did you know real bears can actually run really fast over 30 miles per hour? Wow, that's really cool. Let's learn more. Do you know the three types of bears we have in Alaska? Red. That's right, sometimes you hear about grizzly bears too. That's another name for a brown bear. Grizzly bears live inland and don't eat much salmon. We have black and brown bears in most parts of Alaska, but polar bears live in the far north in the Arctic. We're gonna focus on brown bears and black bears in this movie because they are more common and they live where most people in Alaska live. Summer is when we usually see bears. That's because most black and brown bears spend all winter in dens. It's pretty amazing. Bears don't eat all winter while they're in their den. So when they wake up in spring, they're hungry. What do bears eat? Fish! Lambs! Berries! Insects! Brown squirrels! Deer! Rocks. 
do eat all those foods except for rocks. Bears don't eat rocks. I'm not sure what that was about. Bears do eat many things though and can bear, be very opportunistic when it comes to looking for food. For bears, the search for food is the most important thing in their life. To learn more about bears, biologists captured bears and put them to sleep for a while. While the bears were sleeping, they put collars around their necks that contained tracking devices and a camera. The bears then woke up and the camera started filming all the places the bears went from the bears' point of view. Wow, let's see a video taken from the bears' perspective. Bears are omnivores. That means they eat both plants and meat. Here's a bear eating devil's club berries. And here he is ripping up a tree to eat insects. Bears also eat grasses, berries, and meat, like caribou, deer, or moose, and even bird eggs if they can find them. Wow, it's awesome to see Alaska like the bear sees it. I've also heard bears have an amazing sense of smell. They do. This is a bear's skull, and this is its nose. Bears have a big nose and lots of smelling receptors. It's not unusual for them to be able to smell something more than a mile away. That's a really long way. No wonder it's important to put away your trash and other things that might attract bears. Do you know how to tell the difference between black and brown bears? Well, black bears have a really straight nose, and brown bears have a real dish-shaped nose. And black bears, they've got really short, sharp claws and are really good climbers. Brown bears have really long claws, and brown bears have a big hump on their back, and black bears really don't have much of a hump on their back. Do you want to hear another joke, Leilani? Sure. Okay, I've got one. What did the teddy bear say when the waiter asked him if he would like more food? I don't know. Well, you want anything else? What? No, thank you. I don't need any food. I'm already stuffed. <laughs> okay, I'll bring you a check on. <laughs> get it? All teddy bears are stuffed? Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> Let's read a story about what not to do in bear country. It's a beautiful warm summer day in Alaska and the people who live in this house in bear country have a picnic. They invite some friends and everyone brings food. A lot of the friends come in and they bring all kinds of food. Salmon, chicken, hot dogs, and burgers for a barbecue. They also bring salads, vegetables, fruit, chips, and all kinds of desserts. Pies, cakes, and cookies. Some friends bring their dogs and owner set out a bowl of dog food so the dogs can enjoy the party too. The people also love birds, so they hang up a bird feeder to watch birds. Everyone is having so much fun. They eat and stay up late and late talking and playing games. Finally, it's time for bed. Because it's so late, the people who live in the house decide not to clean up. They go to bed. They figure they will clean up in the morning. Do you think that was a good idea? Who do you think came visiting in the middle of the night? That's right, a bear. And what do you think happened? That's right, a, the bear found all kinds of food to eat. The bear got into everything. It climbed up the tree and knocked down the bird feeder. It ate bird seeds at the, ate all the leftover dog food, all the picnic food that got left out, and the garbage, of course. The bear even knocked over the barbecue and licked the grease and leftover fish, fish pieces. And how do you think the people in the house felt when they woke up and saw the mess? They were really mad, but then they started cleaning and they calmed down. In fact, the more they cleaned, the more they realized that maybe it wasn't the bear's fault. Maybe the bear was just doing what bears do. It was looking for food and found something to eat. A lot of times when bears get into trash and eat people's food, they start hanging around homes looking for more food. That can become a problem for everyone. We live in bear countries, but we don't want bears hanging around looking for food. That can create a dangerous situation. Bear safety begins around our homes. Don't leave out attractants like garbage, bird seed, or pet food that can attract bears to your yard or home. Always clean up leftover food or garbage like these kids here. Store garbage in a bear resistant garbage container in a garage or shed until the morning of trash pickup. Keep garages and sheds closed and locked. Take down bird feeders in the spring when bears wake up, and don't hang them back up until winter when most bears are in their dens hibernating. 
store pet food inside, or keep it secure in a garage or shed. The same goes for birdseed and livestock food. And remember, a well-built electric fence can always help deter bears from livestock pens and beehives. Keep barbecue grills clean and store them in a safe place. When camping, remember to never store food in your tent. Store it away from your sleeping area in a bear-resistant container or hang it from a tree. Cook away from your tent, too. Remember, keep a clean yard and that sound story will never happen to you. Let's explore more now about how to avoid bears. Remember, never approach bears. Bears need lots of space. In Denali National Park, they recommend people stay at least 300 yards away from a bear. That's the length of three football fields. Sometimes people get excited when they see a bear. Sometimes they want to get closer to take a photo or just for better luck. That is never a smart idea. If you see people forget this rule, you can politely remind them to keep a safe distance from bears. We need to be especially careful around mothers with cubs. Don't approach any bear, but especially females with cubs. Mother bears are really protective of their young. Seriously, kids, mother bears mean business. See how this bear is protecting her cubs? There's one more thing to avoid when you're out in the woods. Have you ever smelled a bad smell like a rotting animal when you're out hiking? <laughs> that smell might be a dead animal, like a moose that a bear has killed. Bears are very protective of their food, so you always want to stay away from smelly areas just in case a bear might be around. The most important thing to remember is to always make noise when you're in bear country, so we don't surprise bears. I know how to make a lot of noise. That's funny, but drums might be a little hard to carry and very annoying. I know how to make noise, so I can use bear bells. Bear bells are good, but maybe that's a bit much. I think you'd have a hard time hiking. And it would be pretty annoying. Those things are funny, but let's talk about things that really work. What does your family do to make noise when they're out in bear country? We talk a lot and tell funny stories. We talk a lot and say, hey bear. We talk in a loud voice. We sing songs. Hey bear, ho bear, don't you come near bear. We sometimes carry something with rocks in it. We put bells on our backpacks, on our bikes, and even our dogs. That's great. Bears are sure to know those kids are coming and will probably move away. And remember, take friends with you when you're hiking or camping. You're much safer in a group. Okay, so now we know what to do, but what should we not do? You never want to move quietly through thick brush. That's one of the more dangerous things you can do in bear country. Bears might feel like they need to defend themselves if they are surprised by a person. That's why we really need to let them know we're coming into their habitat. Yeah, it's kind of like ringing a doorbell when you visit someone's home. You're giving them a heads up you're coming. It's also a good idea to stay on trail. Be especially loud when you can't see what's ahead. Remember, it's all about respect. Respecting bears so we can stay safe. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Respect bears. A lot of people see bears in Alaska, but most people never get close to one. But it's still a good idea to be prepared just in case you see a bear on a trail or in your neighborhood. Even kids should know what to do if they see a bear. Let's talk first about what to do if you see a bear from a distance. Don't approach the bear. Just go back the way you came. That's right. If a bear is far away and doesn't notice you, you just go back the way you came. But keep an eye on the bear just so you know where the bear is at all times. What if you see a bear and it's kind of close to you? First of all, try to act calm even if you don't feel calm. And don't run. That's the most important thing. Never run from a bear. It's good if you can figure out what the bear is doing. If the bear is not moving towards you, you can walk away very slowly. Watch where you're going so you don't trip and fall, but keep an eye on the bear too so you know where it is at all times. 
But what if the bear is moving towards you? If the bear is moving towards you, you have to act really brave and stand your ground. That means just stand still. Start to make some noise like saying, Hey bear! Don't back up. Get your group together and stand next to each other with your arms up so you look big. Watch these kids. They are doing all the right things. They walk up over a hill and see a bear. Watch how they make themselves look big and then back away slowly because the bear is not coming toward them. They did a great job of staying safe. I've heard you can also talk to the bear. You can say things like, hey bear, ho bear, or to let the bear know you're a person, or clap and make noise. Well, what about playing dead if you see a bear? I'm glad you brought that up. Never play dead if you just see a bear. You only play dead if you surprise a bear and then a bear knocks you down. Stay standing if you see a bear. Think of a dog you know. If you were running around and then laid down in front of a dog, it might come over to sniff you and check you out. You wouldn't want a bear to do that. Now let's see what you're not supposed to do. These hikers screamed and ran. Remember, never run from a bear. Remember, a bear might chase you if you run. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Kids, if you remember to do all the safety tips, especially making noise, being in a group, and keeping things clean, you'll probably never see a bear up close. But if you do, you'll be prepared. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Wow. I think I'm really getting the hang of it. Now I know what to do and what not to do in bear country. Great, let's do one last review. Make noise so you don't surprise a bear. Look out for bear signs. Be aware when you're in bear country. Buddy up, travel in groups. Avoid bears. Don't move towards them, even if you're trying to take a picture. Always keep a safe distance from bears. Keep everything clean when you're camping. Don't store food in your tent. Keep a clean yard. Don't leave out garbage, bird seed, or other food for bears. If you do see a bear and the bear isn't approaching, move away slowly. If a bear is approaching, get your group together, act brave, and stand your ground. Talk to the bear to let the bear know you're a person. Put your arms up to make yourself look big. Remember, never, ever run from a bear. We learned a lot about bears today and how to be safe around them. It's great to spend time in the outdoors, especially in Alaska. There's so many awesome places to go. Just remember your bear safety and have fun. Mm -hmm.